So now I'm going to be under the shoulder a little bit. And this is nasty. So here I am at the teres, major and minor. Your lat ties into here too. Lat goes a little underneath. And this is really painful stuff. Got it. Ooh. And set that. Okay, so we have Jeremy here, and we're gonna do a, a video today, but yeah. tell us a little bit about what you wanna do. Um, work on the shoulder, um, having some shoulder impingement, I'm not really mm -hmm. sure where it's coming from, I just know that I can't do the things that I used to do in the gym, Okay. and I'm gonna avoid anything, any issues going forward. All right, and it. you're a personal trainer, a personal trainer. so you're yep. in this world. I'm in this world, yep, yeah. this is my world, our world. And um, you're an athlete growing up as well, right? So you were... Big snowboarder, big surfer, uh, ran you track for nine years as well. Competed in soccer. And I played soccer for 24 years. And and also track. And track for nine, yeah. Yeah, so um, have that type of background. Um, you did, did you fracture this or what did you do? This was a clean break right here. At how old? 15. 15 years old, okay. And do you remember what you broke? Was it the clavicle? The it collarbone? was the, yeah, it was the clavicle. Okay. Yeah. So the clavicle comes from here, from here to there. Then we have the humerus. Then we have the, the shoulder blade coming across. And then we, it jo all joins up here, these three bones to come together. So we have the clavicle, the humerus, and the top of the scapula, and they all make this joint. And you can see he has what's called the shoulder sign, which is this bumpy spot right here. This side doesn't have it. And here, put your arm behind your back, you'll see it even more right here. Now, uh, speaking of putting your arm behind your back, stand up with your back to her. Sure. And um, put one arm behind your back as high as you can, and that's really good. And then do the other side, not even close. So I like to also sometimes just demonstrate it this way. So we're pretty far away. That's your bad side. Right. Okay, and then do it the other way. And keep working. Pretty close, you're like a centimeter away. Very close. There you go. Okay, so we know that that's a functional issue. It's well. a functional issue, yes, yeah. definitely. So it's not just, uh, and you notice it sometimes in any pushing exercise. Uh, push-ups, anything, pushing forward, bench press, push-up, even yeah. a snatch or a you know, chest, uh, shoulder press. And do you notice in both directions or is it worse than negative? Um, it's a little positive? bit worse than negative because I go a lot slower. Yeah. Um, and then it's more pronounced. And it just feels like weak. Yeah, it just feels weaker, like I have to stop before I injure myself. Okay. All right, so uh, we're going to start working on you. So that's Great. the right side is mm -hmm. worse. And then you also have all this neck stuff. Yeah, it's just super, like from my ear all the way down, mm -hmm. it's super, super tight. And no matter what I do, massages, roll it out with a lacrosse ball, I just okay. won't break up. All right, so let's let's do our, our stuff. Great. I'm going to have you, um, hmm. I'm going to have you lie face down first. We're going to just, I just want to get a feel of everything and then we'll specifically work on your right side of the neck. Um, but I'm also gonna do kind of a warm up and just let you experience that. Great. So I put um, something around your ankle to give your lower back traction. And I'm gonna expand the uh, handles on this. So put your arms out straight and I'll bring the handle to you. And then hold on to that handle. And you'll find when I start the machine, um, it'll stretch you gently and it'll just be running in the background. And um, let me turn that on now. And you'll see the table flexing. But it just is nice. It just stretches you. Does it feel okay? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And it just runs like that. And now I'm going to just kind of get a little, a little sense of how your body feels. I mean, you have really nice balance. And what I mean by that is he's strong and flexible. And I notice... Uh, and I like to, ooh, you feel that just popped? Yeah. It just made a crack. I didn't try to make a crack, just putting pressure on it, it released. Um, with people with chronic pain, and th this is not you necessarily, I just mean when I, I'm talking to patients, usually there's two areas that they can work on. Is One is mobility or flexibility, um, and the other is strength. And you have both. You have really nice mobility or flexibility and strength. 
and usually people might be all jacked up and strong, but they can't even touch their toes. Or other people are, um, you know, very flexible, but not strong enough to not be in chronic pain. So it's nice that you work on both. And I feel the suppleness in the muscle, so he's not rigid. It's, he's going to be easy to work on. Or not easy, but he's, he's got a body we can work on today. So I'm excited about that. And you feel that pressure point there, right? Oh, that's that, awesome. And I'm on the good side. This is the, the left side, where he doesn't have pain and involvement of area that's locking up on him but then it gives me a sense of what the good side feels like so when I go over to the right side which is his troubled side today and your shoulder's been weird for about four months it's about yeah four to six months in that four range. to six months okay here just clicked again so his thoracics are popping a little bit as I push into them now turn your face all the way to the right so you're gonna pick up your head and do that and then turn it all the way to the left. It just gives us a little reference point. It's easier for it to turn to this side, correct? Yeah, yeah. And when you turn to this side, I want you to take your own finger and point to the spot you think it's most kinked or catching. You're feeling it down into the trap. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, back to center. That helps, thank you. All right, right in there. Too strong or is it okay? No, that's good. So I'm working my elbow into the top of his traps. And the table actually helps us too because that as it pulls away, it tractions a little bit all the way up to here even. Do you feel when the yeah. table takes it, it it dials it in a little bit. Yeah, it's nice. It's intense, right? Yeah. Okay. Now try to turn your face to this side. It's a little better. Yeah. A little better. So now I'm going to be under the shoulder a little bit. And this is nasty. So here I am at the teres, major and minor. Your lat ties into here too. Lat goes a little underneath. And this is really painful stuff. So I'm sorry, but it's good stuff to work. Right in there, traveling down. And right in there. So that's a crazy spot. And I'm going to bring this arm back around. So my fingers on the front of his shoulder. And because that, he's got internal rotation issues. So for us to bring the arm behind the back, like he was demonstrating before, you need internal rotation and adduction. So the adduction part is to swing this back towards midline, and this has to turn enough to crank the arm up. So when we turn the arm, or internally rotate the humerus, the upper arm bone, it's jamming in here. He's getting impinged. So I want to release that impingement, or begin to release it. Sometimes something like this, since it's been bothering him for four to six months, we'll need a few treatments. But I, I can usually get this to really open up, especially a guy as fit as him, because he takes very good care of himself, and this just happens to be an injury that hasn't healed correctly. But the, what I'm working with is a perfect person to work with because he's gonna heal, he's gonna get better. Some people you worry about, they, they come in and they're such a mess physically that it's hard to fix things on them because they, nothing in their body is, is being cared for. Um, 
and we still work, but it, it's, it's a harder challenge. So here's another spot. Do you feel this one? Yeah. Good. So here's external rotation. So I'm bringing his arm up. And his external is not the, the bad point for him. It might be a little less than optimal because the whole shoulder's irritated. But it's decent, like we're able to get it behind him. And I'm not taking it easy on him, I'm really pushing hard. You can feel this, right, Jeremy? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now I'm up here at the I'm up here at the occiput on the right. And this is nasty too. Do you feel this? Oh yeah. So let's do this. I'm going to release the, the leg thing. And it's coming up now. So um, I'm going to have you sit in this uh, little stool here. And you can face the window, so your back will be to me. I'm going to get my hand under here. Tilt your head over a little bit. There's one. It was hard to get, but we got it. Did you hear it? Yeah. It came up my left ear. <laughs> Let's see if you have one on this side, too. There's another. That was big. Wow. Okay, now I'm going to have you live face up. So I'm going to come in and adjust his first T1, his first rib here. And we have to come in really deep, but this is going to help his shoulder. And you can feel how this is just nasty. Here, I'm going to show you something cool for a minute, okay? I don't know if it, we can demonstrate it, but um, sit up for a second and, and face the camera that way. Um, keep your left hand apart with your, your fingers. And I'm going to try to hold these, and they don't want to go. And so shoot down on this so you see what we're doing. And these are nice and strong. He has really strong fingers. Now let's go to the left side. Okay, so here, strong, strong, nothing. Because your T1 is out. And this is pretty weak too. Wow. Look at that. That's wild. Do you see how weak it is? Yeah. Look, look how, and he's, this guy is strong. These are like strong bands. I can't even push them together. Wow. But these, nothing. Pull them apart, nothing. So watch, it's connected to this nerve. So now hold your, it's already strengthening up. Okay. So I have to adjust that. Right there, do you feel how nasty that yeah. is? Now do that one more time. They're getting stronger already. So I gotta, this is what I have to fix. Mm -hmm. So stay where you are. Whew. And I'm gonna, we're gonna do it with, by hand, but I'm first gonna tap this. Let's see what we got now. So fingers apart. It's getting stronger, right? Do you feel wow. the difference? Wow. First I can't collapse them. This is much stronger. Yeah. Can you see that? That's wild. <laughs> that's wild. So that's cool stuff, right? Yeah. So now I'm on your back. Now we're going to really set it. So I got to get it in on that same spot, and it's down through here. Here, I'll show you on this side where the camera is. So it's deep into there, but we're going to do the right, not the left. So I tilt here. Got it. 
<laughs> so it's an inside one, because that's inside your whole neck Damn. and shoulder. Damn. Now put your fingers out again and make them strong. Keep them apart. There, they're back. They're back online. So that's really cool. Now we're gonna just do some on the other side too. So now come down this way, keep coming. Good, and I'm gonna set the shoulder a little bit too, okay? So I'm gonna put my hand in here and trap your elbow like this. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna keep your hand up here if you can. I'm gonna sneak my hand underneath and set that. <laughs> that was great. You heard it cracked too, right? Yeah. Good. Just rearranged my molecules. <laughs> so now, hmm. Let's take you under this way. Two more. Good. All right. Whew. Let's do this next. Got it. That one too. Um, let's do some collarbone next. So here's his collarbones. And this would be the SC joint. So his collarbone comes like my thumb here and meets the sternum. So it's called the SC joint because it means sternoclavicular joint where the sternum meets the clavicle. And there's two of them, one on the left and one on the right. Here, pull the shirt down just a little for me. There you go. And so I want to get this joint here. And it's probably a little tender there, isn't it? Slightly, yeah. Yeah, because this one, not so much. Mm -hmm. But this one's out. Yeah. And here's this collarbone. You can see it if I shape it like this. Do you feel it? Mm hmm So here it is, here. There's the collarbone. And it comes up here. But this side's out, too. So there's different ways to get it. But let's put you up on the table here. It's the nicest way to get it. Otherwise, it's not a comfortable adjustment, but let's do it the most comfortable way. Come up another couple of inches. Thank you. Okay. So we're gonna set this collarbone to help a shoulder. Because remember, there's three bones. Collarbone or clavicle is another name for it. The scapula comes up and catches the clavicle and the humerus from up and around the back. So those three bones meet. There we go. So now, we're gonna check this stuff in the front now. So this is your pec minor. And this is a little tight on you. Do you feel it? Yeah. Come in this way. You're being very brave because this stuff is really tender. You can feel that one, right? Oh, yeah. That should hurt. It does. Now I'm right <sighs> under the collarbone at this point. And now back onto the pec attachment. And this is not fun either. <laughs> Working rotation at the same time. Right there. Good. Sorry. Now I'm going to grab the whole peck like this, watch. Oh, 
I'm in here now. Now my thumb's all the way under into the armpit. Do you see that? But I'm gonna dig it deep and come up into here to help him from this side. So I'm inside the armpit here. You might even wanna come around and watch her unless you could see her from where you are. So I'm all the way under there. And there goes my thumb, it's gone because it's in here. So I'm inside the shoulder. That's it. Yeah. So that's the bad spot. Uh, nice. Uh, All right. That's not easy. I'm sorry. Oh, that's great. It needs to, someone needs to do this for you. Yeah. So, someone got to get in and get this for you. And it's going to probably take him a few sessions because he's been, this is, shoulder's been dysfunctional for a couple of months as we talked about. And it needs to oh. like break up all the old crap and let it remodel. So it's going to take a couple of weeks. But again, this is nasty stuff in here. Now I'm under here, but as I, my thumb dip disappears again, it goes inside. There you go, now I'm all the way in now. Okay. Woo, woo. She's right, man. All right, so come stand up and put that arm behind your back again and, and work it up as high as you can. We're getting closer. There they touched. So I, I did that for him, so I don't want people to think he did that on his own, but I'm showing him the potential, okay? So when we started, his hand was down here, and there was no room to even do an assisted lift, but we just got them to touch, so yeah. it shows us what's there. That's great. What's there is that that can be done, and he's probably like three weeks from getting that on his own. Right. Um, and it's something worth working towards, not that it's so great to be able to touch fingers, but what he needs to work on is have both sides match or be very close to matching. So we already know what the good side can do. Here, do the good side. So this arm goes underneath. You know, and it's the good side can touch or much closer, right? I need to work on that side. But um, the other side shouldn't be this far away. And as you work towards it, and, you know, you're, you're going to have to do a lot of stretching. Uh, partial hangs would be good for you. Right. Um, and, you know, so anytime you can get a chain bar, I'm sure you, you know, notice my feet are on the floor. Yep. And you can also do, um, you can also go, that's internal rotation, right? Okay. But again, my feet are on the floor, so I don't want to rip out my shoulder. Right. So that's, um, that's a severe <laughs> internal rotation on the right hand. Yeah. Because I'm coming under, turning, and grabbing. And then you could do the other side, just to keep it fresh. You could start hanging in this position, but start with your feet on the floor. Notice my feet with the cameras not touching, but that's really starting to work in turn rotation. And you also want to do this stretch. You know this one. It's the doorway stretch. Yeah, I'm doing um, yeah. 15 holding for uh, three seconds. Into a corner? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's beautiful. So what he was saying is he goes into the corner, and we don't have a good corner here, but it's the same thing. Yeah, but I, I would probably want you to do them individually, too. Okay because you'll find your right side and your left side don't yeah. match right now, and you can also lift the elbow at the same time. So come try doing that for a second on your right side. So it's the same stretch, but, but you can um, focus on what it needs. So drop the elbow off of this, and take a nice lunge, and then scoop the elbow up a little too to bring a little rotation in. Do you feel it? Yeah, that's great. So hold that for a minute. And you can do it two ways. One is with, with rotation, mm -hmm. and one is just dead on. So now go back and drop. I love the way you trap your arm. And now do it again. So this one's just straight away without rotation. So take a lunge with the left foot. And we're just working this now. And this is straight pet minor. Oh, man, that's great. 
and watch, we'll see even more, just from this, this stretch, we'll see more with his um, being able to get the arm behind his back. I'm just adding to this with pulling his shoulder blade through. And then climb up on here, but be careful, okay? It's just a little plastic thing. And um, try and just hold that for just a second. And remember, you're only stretching. We're not trying to do gymnastics here. See, this stuff is his language anyway. You know, he's, he lives in this world. But what happens a lot is we forget to work on ourselves because you're taking care of your clients all the time. Yeah. And your day is busy. But now you'll spend just a couple of weeks to reclaim all this. So now come down for a minute. And let's put your shoulder this behind now. And we're getting so much better today, right? Yeah. It's, it's coming around. So he has work to do. Um, and he needs to reshape that shoulder again. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty cool, right? Yeah. You have stuff to work on. I do. Um, you said show, uh, do, do one or two push-ups, because you said that's where you've noticed it, right? Yeah. It's, it's on the, um, when I'm pushing up. Yeah. Right. Does it feel any different, or is it just beat up now, because I beat it up? You know, it's not, it's not terrible. Um, I just, I don't think I've been doing it for so long, so I'm a little, yeah. you know, mentally hesitant to keep okay. pushing. No, I feel like just test it. No, okay. okay. Well, thank you, everybody. I appreciate Great. it. Yeah, thank you. There you go, now I'm all the way in now. Whew. Whew. She's right.